Uh, advice. Friend's girlfriend is a bitch. Haven't I already given advice over this thing? I've given this advice a zillion fucking times. I'm a high school senior, and in three weeks with me, uh, in three weeks, me and my friends are going backpacking through Australia for a month and a half. We've been planning this trip since middle school, and I have saved for the past five years because I am paying for my share of the trip myself. We're both psyched to graduate from high school and for this trip. Dude, I hope you have the most... The only way I would backpack through Australia is if they made thigh-high hooker fucking snake boots. They got like some of the deadliest snakes on the planet. They got that taipan or whatever the fuck it is. They got the, uh, don't they got black mambas out there? Those ones you get bit, like in the second it, it registered the, the pain of getting bit, you like collapse. Yeah, fuck all that. All right, dude, we'll have fun with that. This sounds like one of those trips where somebody ends up dying and then somebody goes on trial for possibly murdering the other person and then they get off. and then But there's always that wonderment of what really happened. Whenever Americans go to Australia, somebody dies. Remember that guy who was on the honeymoon and he went scuba diving and his uh, wife got eaten by a shark? You yeah, remember that one? Or something weird or they went deep sea uh, fucking snorkeling? I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a fucking woman... And uh, if you're a lady um, and you're on, a, you're going on a honeymoon, if it involves fucking scuba diving, so any, any sort of going out to the ocean, that's it. It's over. Call off the wedding. All right? Call it off. Nothing good comes from that. He's either going to get drunk and fall overboard or he's going to shut the air valve off. <laughs> Don't go on a cruise. Uh, you know, and if you do, you do not go up on deck unless there's plenty of witnesses around. Fuck that moonlight kissing. Fuck all that. That's when you go off the back of the boat. She was just, she wanted to reach down and touch the water. Oh, I don't know what happened. No body, no nothing. Oh, fuck that. Hey, Billiam, I'm a high school. All right, so anyways, they're going to Australia. My friend and I have known each other since we were three, and our families are very close. He's like my he's like a brother to me and we've often confided in each other and asked each other for fr relationship advice. However, recently my friend has started dating this girl who has put a huge rift in our relationship. Congratulations. He's met his first psycho. You guys are only high school age. I don't think this is going to be that big a deal. The girl my friend is dating is a total whore. She's ignorant and jealous and generally has an unattractive personality. They've only been dating for two months, but she feels like she owns him. She found out that my friend and I were going on this trip and has been rude to me ever since. Yeah, she's insecure. She's young. Um, and she's fucking a lot of guys. It, stayed, it started with just snipping remarks, elevated over time. Blah, blah, blah. blah. This is just going to be the usual shit. The other night, we were all at a party. She got hammered. She came up to me, started shoving me, and told me that my ghetto pussy wasn't going to seduce her boyfriend. What? This comment probably had something to do with the fact that I'm black and her boyfriend is white. Though I was seeing red, I tried not to sucker punch that bitch in the face. Yeah, dude, dude, don't. Don't ever do that. Uh, I've boxed and kickboxed for the past three years, and I'm pretty sure I could have stomped the yard all over. Uh, yeah, dude, what the fuck? Where did that come from? I think the fact that you're a guy, you could pretty much beat up most women, so which is why you don't do it. You know? It's like running up the score in a college game. Uh, <laughs> I told her to calm down. I have never done anything with my friend and have no desire or intentions of anything happen in Aussie land. She kept yelling and screaming and making a scene. Eventually... Oh, so she's basically calling you gay in front of all your friends at a party and you're at a high school level. Yeah, that's kind of a, that's a situation. Eventually, I just gave up trying to reason with the drunk broad and I left. Naturally, I told my friend what she said. He agreed it was absolutely unacceptable and had a talk with her that turned into a fight. My friend's girl gave him an ultimatum, me or her, and for forbade him from going to Australia. This is absolutely hilarious to me, which it should be. Since their fight, my friend hasn't called or texted me back. What should I do? You know what? Fuck him. Fuck him. Let him learn the lesson. You know what you do? You go down there with your fucking American accent, all right? And you're going to get more fucking pussy than you could ever shake a goddamn stick, a walking stick act, all right? To keep it in a hiking sense here, all right? Fuck him, and then you come back and just, you know, let him be with that whore. 
Wash your fucking hands of it. Okay? You go, I invested a lot of time, effort, and money into this trip. I'm not going to have the beginning of my senior year destroyed by some skank face control freak lush, which you shouldn't. But I also don't want to hurt my friend and have and have him be miserable when we're going to be stuck living, sleeping, traveling together for six weeks. Hey, fuck him. This is the deal. Fuck him. Fuck him. Okay? He wants to be with that whore. Let him be with that whore. Get on with your fucking life. He wants to go with you to Australia. Let him. If he doesn't, if he wants to stay back there with that psycho, let him. Let He has to learn this lesson. The same way you got to let a toddler fucking slam his head off the goddamn coffee table to understand gravity or at least putting his little fat baby arms out. You know, you got <laughs> you got to let this dude fall right on his fucking face. All right? Let's hope he's wearing a condom, but he's old enough to know how people get pregnant. So, you know... Give me a fucking break. Fuck this shit, all right? That's it. Fuck him. Wash your hands of it. It's over. All right? You go out. You enjoy your senior year. You go to Australia. He comes. He doesn't. You don't give a fuck. All right? That's on him. He wants to sit there and invest all his life in some stupid, drunk, skank face, control freak, lush, as you call her. Let him. What the fuck do you care? Okay? She fucking embarrassed you. I mean, you, you don't do that. You don't do that. I remember one time I was dating this fucking girl, and she was so fucking rude to one of my friends. And that night, I was like, I was beside myself, and I was asking her how she could do something like that. And she's just like, on, she was just like, I'm sorry. I didn't like him. And I, that was the first time I was just like, is that the most arrogant fucking thing ever? And I'm not going to lie to you. It took me like another like uh, week or two. But I, from that second on, I just fucking pulled back and I was just like, you know what? Go fuck yourself. Cause, you know, that's the life you're going to have. You're going to have no, you're going to, all your friends are going to be gone. So fuck her. All right. Did I say it enough time? Yeah. Fuck her.